Now, CBS4 weather. All right, we're taking a live look out of Lardale by the Sea. It's a Windjammer Resort camera, and it looks blustery. Plus, it looks wet out there. There's some raindrops hitting the lens, and there's certainly some showers that are bringing some heavy rainfall parts of Fort Lardale. Port Everglades, that little one right there, you see that core kind of little spin there. Can't rule out water spouts when we see activity with this. I just want to point that out. And then this is another heavy core of rain that is approaching coastal areas, Birch Ocean Front, and north of that, like Lardale by the sea will be getting that rain fall soon. Right now it's just some light drizzles near Oakland Park, but it will intensify once those showers roll completely on shore. And then a little shower right over you in Hollywood Beach Gardens, and that will continue to track mainly towards the north and west. And then there's this cluster of thunderstorms that's producing gusty winds at least of 45 miles per hour and also hail. Now this has been slowly working its way over the Everglades, but this is going to be a huge impact for Alligator Alley uh, and down into Miccosukee as well. So that uh, definitely has to be watched. It could eventually dissipate before hitting the East Metro areas, but it's just something to watch uh, as we continue on through the rest of the evening. So quiet for the most part right now, but as we head into later on tonight, the model's trying to show some activity. So we're still going to keep the rain chance through tonight in the form of a few showers maybe an isolated thunderstorm for parts of Broward, Northern Dade, even through 10 o'clock, 11 p.m. After that, after midnight, finally, the radar does become quiet. And then tomorrow morning, we'll start off partly to mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures right now, mainly in the upper 70s. We're going to drop to the mid and low 70s tonight, keeping it mild. Wind has been breezy at times right now, anywhere between 5 to 15 miles per hour and out of the southeast. By tomorrow, those winds are turning out of the south, and yes, we get another round of thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, as well as Thursday, and then finally more sunshine Friday.